It is the 5th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net tonight. Freak storm and gale force winds wreak havoc in Malaysia. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, a freak thunderstorm and strong winds referred to as a mini hurricane by many tore through the capital and parts of several other cities wreaking havoc, uprooting trees and damaging properties. Mexico drought is worse in 70 years, and this is just ongoing. Basically, it's turning into a desert. Durango, the sun-baked northern states of Mexico, are suffering under the worst drought since the government began record rainfall 70 years ago. Crops of corns, beans, oats, and withering in the fields. About 1.7 million cattle have died of starvation and thirst. Uh, hardest hit are five states in Mexico's north, a region that is being parched by the same drought that has dried out southwest United States. Uh, the government is trucking water to 1,500 villages scattered across the nation's northern expanse and sending food to poor farmers who have lost all of their crops. And they're saying life probably won't improve soon. The next rainy season isn't due till June, and there's no guarantee of normal rains will come then. And uh, apparently a, a large number of Siberian flamingos were electrocuted in India when they hit high power lines. Uh, over to the extinction protocol, um, speaking of the Mexican drought, planetary and climate changes on footsteps of magnetic field reversal. This is out of Australia, while mainstream science agencies um, admonish us that the continual degradation of the planet's magnetic field is no cause for alarm and should induce no significant changes for the mechanics of the planet Earth. We can't help but be concerned about the implications of shifting clim climatic patterns after witnessing the alarming rise in the number of extreme weather events that have occurred in 2011. And we can all contest to that, can't we? Could these events in some way also be associated with the Earth's polarity reversal? Well, the planet's jet stream has also become more erratic and it is experiencing wild frenzy migrations resulting in the outbreak of an unprecedented number of extreme weather events that have reaped destruction across the globe at record-breaking prices. And the story goes on and on. Uh, And uh, they've got another section, Climate and Kiros. There were more than 575 tornadoes, tornado deaths in 2011, the sixth highest ever recorded. April of uh, 2011 saw the largest outbreak of tornadoes in the U.S. Meteorological Service has recorded 875 twisters, when the average for the last decade was only 161. And they've got a story as far as the planet's shaken by earthquakes and we're all been watching the the 9.0 and all the 7s and, and countless numbers of 6s and 5s. And uh, Mount Gamalama erupts in Indonesia. Residents urged to stay calm. So we got another uh, volcano in Indonesia erupting in the north Maluku province erupted at 2300 local time on Sunday, releasing volcanic ashes. There's no death or material loss due to the eruption. Um, yeah, said to the head of the department. And they're saying people f f fled in panic and uh, some people stayed behind, but they're warning people to get the heck out of there. Uh, we have a small magnitude tremor rattles homes in Cornwall region, uh, Great Britain, United Kingdom. Um, they're saying they only felt it for like two or three seconds. It was only a 2.2 magnitude, but it definitely rattled some nerves and moved some things in the house. Um, they said they heard a loud noise. It was very loud, like a whooshing, and the house and the bed were shaking. I thought I'd imagine it. And record number of mud volcanoes erupting across the planet. Trinidad mud volcano awakens after 14 years. And uh, this is one that, that swept out houses and stuff uh, how many 14 years ago. And they said it's, it's gearing back up with two new domes and it's spitting mud a couple, three feet in the air. 
and uh, the residents are definitely nervous. And that's about all new they have tonight. Now over to the RSOE, of course, um, they've got the drought going on in Hungary, Serbia, Bulgaria, Romania, on the Danube River. Uh, that's the one where all the barges are stuck and uh, the crop loss there and they can't do any commerce. Well, the main source of commerce is up and down that river. Um, the volcano in Ecuador is still ongoing. Um, Colombia, still ongoing. Flash floods in Indonesia, of course. Uh, we had a slight earthquake, like a 3.8 in Israel, and they were saying people up in the high rises, they felt the building sway, you know, things were falling off the shelves, but uh, no big serious damage. Um, something uh, one person quoting saying they've never experienced before, so uh, not a very common thing there. And where's that other one? Forest fires in Australia between Gracetown and Ellenbrook. And the, the Chevron oil spill off the coast of Brazil. Um, apparently, uh, according to the RSOE, um, the Brazilian officials have fined Chevron and they're threatening to pull their license because apparently this, this leak happened for you know, over a week before Chevron even let anybody know anything happened. And um, they're concerned about the deep water drilling after the, uh, the British Petroleum uh, Gulf of Mexico incident. And everybody's extra careful. Uh, they still got uh, cat law on the grid as far as uh, 500 quakes last month. And uh, they're still watching that. And where was that other one? I think that's about it they have tonight uh, over to the nuclear stuff let's go to RS or uh, the e, e news German radiation expert no way to stop nuclear fuel that has melted through can only pray it does not touch underground water vein uh, shocking your Mari editorial not eating your veggies equal to 1 to 200 millisieverts unfounded radiation fears seem to be continuing to spread and they're saying uh, in this editorial, if you don't eat your veggies, you're going to get radioactive. Update on report of strontium 80, 89 levels detected in Tokyo early on in the crisis. They measured it at the U.S. Embassy. You wonder why uh, all our people got the hell out of there real fast. Got their families, everything out of there. Dozens of radioactive tires from Japan confiscated by Russians, emitting excess levels of gamma and beta rays unsafe to bring into Russia. I wonder how many more countries are looking the other way. Uh, Japan Times expert claims Fukushima boss not sick from exposure, but speculation that his illness was caused by radiation. TEPCO still not discussing the details. And there's another um, pretty traumatic story coming out of, uh, this is on uh, Fukushima Diary. A subcontractor worker found highly radioactive water was leaking from a water purifying system. It was from the water con uh, conversion section in Fukushima Daiichi plant. The worker reported that 45 tons of contaminated water leaked, but potentially 220 tons of polluted water had leaked out. It contains 45,000 becquerels per liter of cesium, which is 300 times much as some kind of the safety limit. As it must be a translated piece, and it contains 1 million times more strontium as some kind of safety limit of a safety limit. And these are the whatever the the, the greatly exaggerated safety limits after the accident. As strontium Tepco does not announce the actual amount contam contained in the water. Uh, the water purifying system cannot filter out the strontium, which is the water soluble, which is water soluble. The tank contains over 10,000 tons in total. The leaked water flowed into a gutter, which is connected to the sea, 500 meters away. So all this radioactive waste is seeping into the Pacific Ocean. They could not do anything uh, more than put up sandbags. 
The leaked water is more contaminated than the water that TEPCO leaked in April on purpose. You remember when they did all that? I have videos if you want to go back. And uh, the insanity continues. Uh, as far as my notes for today, um, just anybody who's keeping track. I had to work today, so I didn't get to do too many. Uh, definitely the background radiation, in my observation, is uh, just about the same as it was yesterday. So uh, here it is, just another day. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for all your support.